Hey guys, Jamal Salt Bowl 7 here again, but you can call me and I am back with another commentated video about Set Smile, as you can see. The update for Fire Emblem Heroes has just dropped, or a few hours ago, but still. And with it came some new weapon refine. If you saw the last video featuring Setsuna in the thumbnail, you'll know that she was one of the characters, units, that got a weapon refine. And I was so happy. And I am still so happy. Um, but along with Setsuna, a few other characters got some weapon refines as well. I do not have a 5-star Legion, but for my friends list at the very bottom of the screen, uh, we have been blessed with one. So, they do not have the refine. But that's okay, uh, just the base effect is neat. Um, as well as Shiro and Cecilia also got refines. Um, we'll go with Legion first because he's the less, the least um, time consuming because it doesn't have the refine. But if you feel like reading this wall of text, it's pretty good. I don't use Legion. If you do use Legion, like um, this person in my friends list, um, then awesome. I hope the refine is also very good. Um, if we go to Shiro's Refine, it's Bright Naginata is normally, basically, uh, an attack refine, plunge and lance. Um, but now with its new refine, uh, it gives it basically the same effect as the recent Easter weapons. So, similar effects, um, where if they're within two spaces of an ally, they get more attack and defense as well as neutralizing penalties. The recent carrot weapons have been just the specific stats, but Shiro's weapon is neutralizing its penalties, all of them, I think. So that's pretty neat. Um, Cecilia's weapon fine is also incredibly cool. It's triangle adept, as well as it now has an effectiveness against flying. So the new Pirate to Barn has immediately uh, is getting a run for his treasure, if you know what I mean. Uh, because it also if Triangle Dub stacks, I don't know if it does. It seems like it does. It seems like it can at least. Then colorless and blue units are just gonna get wrecked by Cecilia. Like completely wrecked. Um, but if they don't stack, then you can run close counter. Um, in your A slot. Too bad all those years ago her precious student Roy had to um, turn in his books uh, to give Cecilia a triangle depth, but well, whatever, that's in the past, don't worry about it. Um, but it also, if yeah, if it doesn't stack, then there's a bunch of colorless dragons, and now colorless the barn, that will, as well as Bramimon, Bramimon's probably gonna get messed up by this. Um, I don't have one, I think it's something, like the threshold with his attack and speed stuff, I think Cecilia like beats it, where she doesn't get super affected by it, at least the one I have. Um, she's only plus one, um, so that's really cool actually, which means she can just mess up Remimon, it seems. Now, the main event, Setsuna. In my last video, if you saw it, um, you can go watch it, it's like, it might be pretty long, I don't remember, uh, I kind of probably went off on a tangent about Setsuna. I tend to do that about things I like. Anyway, um, Setsuna, I speculated that her new bow, it could be a brave bow, like a lot of people run Setsuna with brave bow, but with a minus two speed reduction um, instead of minus five, which would have been okay. I'm not the biggest fan of brave bow Setsuna, but plotting is also pretty neat. Um, I said it could have been like the fishy bow, in which it had built in desperation, or a desperation refine, that would have been cool. It could have been like her original base weapon, the assassin's bow, where it had a breaker skill built into it. That would have been awesome. It's none of those things. It is very pretty unique. Um, in combat, with ranged weapons, she gets a spectrum boost to her stats, which is, by default, really, really useful. Her stats are very balanced, normally, um, with very close defense and res, 
uh, very close attack and speed at plus speed with uh, 10 Dragonflowers um, without summoner support, but still. Um, also the effect, if she has a bonus, then she gets more attack and speed, and it neutralizes the penalty to attack and speed. So that's just great, because it has a really good base effect. Um, and if you run a skill set, like the one I have now, uh, where it doesn't use, or it doesn't have bonus like skills um, by default, like odd attack wave and then even attack wave in the skill slot, um, then you could run just a normal, uh, not special refine, you mean, with like attack or speed refine or even defense or res. Um, and you'll still get the, cool, the very cool spectrum buff. And you won't have to worry about the extra effect. Um, you'll just have a little bit more HP, as well as the stat that you boost from it. Um, let's see. Yeah, so she does get more HP um, with normal refines, but she doesn't with the special refine, which kind of stinks, but you take what you can get, because the special refine is really, really good, especially if you have a boost set that works with it, or a team that works around buffing your units. It just, she works really well. Um, she can work really well on her own, or really well with the team. So I think that is a great thing for possible sets of solos in the future, where um, if I do have, like, bonusing skills, or even if I don't, she still is going to handle herself very well. Um, so, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. It was just a small cool review, as well as um, what could be to come in the future about Setsma. Um, the Marissa solos are, there are many, um, with the occasional Setsa in between. And I, maybe this, this small buff, well, small buff, it's pretty good buff uh, with the weapon, can help her get to points where she can clear um, maybe the Abyssal maps. Uh, well, actually, Legion, Legion's map is, it's not Abyssal, but he just got refined, so good for him. Um, but like, Abyssal Robin, that'd be cool. Let's go in right now. Just to see. With, so there's a bunch of ranged weapons, there's a bunch of ranged enemies in this map. So... I won't have to super deal with post portal. Uh, let's go with... I don't know. Fashion Blade 4, because why not? Um, let's go with... Uh, Special Spiral, why not? Let's go with... Yeah, Defense Smoke works. And let's go with... And close defense, because I think there are some uh, melee and defense men. And... Not spend through it, folks. I did not click on that. And then... Let's get... Soul. Sure. Um, and let's go in. Just to see. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a random clear. So there are three melee units on this game, and three ranged units. Robin does not have her tactical bolt, so that's really useful. Let's see, you have Glimmer, you have Sacred Cow. Let's attack you. And let's end. I die. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's not the, that's not the point of this. Um, she didn't have summoner support, she didn't have... I just threw a skill set willy-nilly. Anyway, that might happen in the future. Um, we can look forward to that. Or we can just also look forward to the fact that um, more weapon refines in the future could mean Marissa will get her Shamshire soon. Um, all of Connor and Kelly so far, is the only one who doesn't have weapon refines. Um, so, we can hope. And I think uh, with that one here, 
Um, thank you all so much for watching um, and listening to me ramble about Setsuna and Weapon and Finds. Um, like, subscribe. See you guys around. Until next time. Bye.